Welcome to Sherry Webb Gymnasium in Hatfield, Smith Academy. Tonight, a boys Hampshire League matchup. It's the Smith Academy Falcons taking on the Frontier Red Hawks. I'm Jeff Terrell along with Chris Collins. Our studio producer is Dave Reno. The Frontier Red Hawks off to a great start in the 2018-19 season with a 6-1 overall record, a perfect 2-0 in league play. Smith Academy, however, at 3-5 overall, 1-1 one one in league play. They are coming off of the feet against the Mohawk Warriors. So Chris, a chance for the Falcons to get back on the winning ledger here at home tonight, but they're going up against arguably the top team in the league. Yeah, and a team that's playing very good basketball. Although they were a little bit a little bit ragged against Athol the other night. Didn't play quite as well as they could, but Smith's biggest problem tonight is going to be big men in the middle. Of course, we're talking about Karsten Carey, and he, he's one of three bigs that the Frontier Red Hawks have this year. And you try to contain one, you got to have to deal with two others. They're not always on the floor at the same time, but definitely a tough situation for Smith Academy, who does not go very big. They do have some very quick guards, though, and uh, great job by Brett Gratz the other night in that loss against Mohawk. He uh, went for over 30 points. However, he's just one guy. They're they are good shooters, but if they come out shooting cold, they could find themselves in a huge early hole. Absolutely, and they're going to have to do everything they can to contain the basketball, control it, and keep it away from the big guns of Frontier. All right, so the JV game is over. Frontier won that one decisively. The pregame warm-ups have concluded. We get set for the opening tip-off. First, introduction of the starting lineups. Now, starting lineups. First, for the visiting Redhawks, a guard. FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Frontier Smith Academy, just one of five games involving our local teams. Tonight, Greenfield is on the road against Athol. Hopkins Academy 
They'll be in the North Carbon region again as well. They're going to be in Orange taking on the Mahar Senators. Turner's Falls is hosting Belcher Town. And in the Tri-County League, Franklin Tech hits the road. They're in Northampton to take on Smith Vocational. One girls game. Franklin Tech girls are at Cy Tech. Tomorrow night, the Greenfield girls are at home against Pioneer. We have picked up that broadcast. That was not on your original schedule, but we have picked it up for a very important reason. Greenfield senior Samantha Smith going for career point number 1,000. She is at 980, so 20 points away. We will have that game for you tomorrow night right here on Bear Country. We'll talk more about that at halftime. Karsten Carey, jumping center against Max Bartlett, tip controlled by Frontier and the visiting Navy with the red and white Smith Academy in the home white with purple, we're underway. Eight minute quarters with a 30 second shot clock. Kalen Evans gets it to Peter Carey, try to get it down to Karsten, tipped away though, and picked up by Colin Ferrara of Smith Academy. On the right, Carter Woodward. Top of the key to Gratz. Again, had a big night the other night in a losing cause against Moore. They need him to be hot tonight. Left side, Jack Zygmunt. Altered shot by Karsten Curie. Ended up going off the side of the backboard. And back the other way come the Red Hawks. Sharp, deep in the left corner. Passes on the right side to Kalen Evans. Peter Carey dumps it down low to Karsten. Right of the lane, the jumper gets the nice roll. 2-0 Frontier. A little bit of passing there by Frontier to set that up. So a minute in, 2 nothing. now nearly a steal by Frontier doing a great job on the far side, but unable to get it going was Owen Morse. Knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with the Falcons. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Former Hampshire coach Claude Salomeo, one of our two officials here tonight. On the right side, Carter Woodward. Bounce pass, back top of the key. Gratz is gonna launch a three, it's good. A lefty three ball, boy, he can shoot. 3-2 Smith, 6.50 to play here in the opening quarter. Owen Morse has it on the right elbow. Picks up the dribble, high post Peter Carey from the foul line, right side they go to Karsten Carey. Swing pass left oh. side over everyone's head. And a rare turnover by Karsten. Yeah, it, they were a little ragged against Athol. I'm gonna be see if they can shake the cobwebs really up. Otherwise, this could be a tough night if Smith gets hot. Well, top of the show we said that Frontier was probably the top team in the league, either them or Frontier, or, uh, Frontier or Pioneer. However, no super team really this year in high school basketball. Three-point bomb put up by Carter Woodward from the right wing was no good. One and done for the Falcons. Owen Morris comes back, has it on the right. Shuffle pass back to Kale and Evans. He'll take it between the circles. Left side pass, Sharp. Gets the Karsten Carey, dumps it down low to Peter Carey. Turnaround jumper is good. A little bit of a modified sky hook there by Peter. Frontier reclaims the lead, 4-3. Now the pass goes errant, picked up by Peter Carey. Turnover, they try to get it down low to Kalen Evans. It goes out of bounds that it's gonna go off of Carter Woodward. It'll be Frontier basketball going down on the baseline right. Sharp will throw in. Gets it into Karsten Carey, top of the key. Kalen Evans, they work it all the way around the horn. Left corner, three ball sharp is short. Karsten Carey, though, gets the rebound, falls down, but before he did so, was able to get rid of it. Here's Owen Morris, pull up pot from 12, right side, no good. Zygmunt clears the board. Smith looks to run. Zygmunt hustles it up, stops, pops from the right side, got it. Jack Zygmunt doing what he does best, turning defense into offense. 5-4, Smith Academy, five and a half to play here in the first quarter. Deep on the right side is Morris. He's gonna launch a deep three. That's a little bit too strong, no good. Tipped out of bounds, it's off of Smith. It'll stay with Frontier with a new shot clock. Nice crowd on hand here, and as usual, a lot of Frontier people here. They're a good team this year, and it's not that far away, right down the road. Jumper on the right left side by Peter Carey was no good, weak side rebound, Morris. Peter Carey has it again, gets it to Sharp, going right baseline, reach and foul is going to be called against Smith Academy. Yeah, I think they're gonna get uh, Bartlett on that one, I'm pretty sure. We believe that you are right. Non-shooting foul, they get it into Morse, steep on the right side, Kale and Evans, top of the key. They get it down low. Karsten Carey, nice job getting it down to Peter Carey, little hook shot, gonna get too strong, no good. Grass runs it up, top of the key. Tricky dribbles. Pulls back for the jumper and a can't check foul called against Alex Sharp, his first. That is the first team foul called against Frontier. Deep on the left side. 
They shuffle the pass to Gratz. Brett backs it out. He's working beyond the arc, guarded by Morris. They try to set up a screen. Unable to do so. They get it over the left side now. Colin Ferrara hands it back to Gratz. Top of the key for three. And before that shot, and a three-second call. Yeah, Smith working the weave, trying to set the three-pointer. They're not trying anything inside right now. Not surprising. Four minutes, 42 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Smith Academy leads by one, five to four. Wide open on the right side was Alex Sharp. They get it to Morse at the top of the key. He up fakes, tricky dribbles, nearly had it poked away by Gratz. Goes left side to Kalen Evans. Peter Carey on the right side. Morse, top of the key, three ball is good. Yeah, Owen has not a lot of chances to shoot, but he can definitely make that three when needed to. 7-5, Frontier by two. Carter Woodward deep on the right side. Guarded closely by Evans. Bounce past top of Peter Gratz. Takes it left to the lane. In amongst the trees, goes up, got blocked by Karsten Carey, partially. He got wailed on. And it comes down to Kale and Evans. Evans takes it, top of the key, stops. Gets the Peter Carey beyond the arc. Peter had it poked away momentarily, tipped out deep, and Morse recaptures. 15 seconds to shoot, Morse on the right side. In the right corner is Sharp, Sharp going baseline. Shuffle pass, Kale and Evans, three ball left side, that is no good. Rebound pulled down by Gratz. Brett will run it up himself into the front court left. Stops there. Little crossover dribble. Stops, pops from the left side. Wave it off. And I got screened by the official. That's an offensive foul called against Smith Academy. I like the way Smith's playing defense right now. Very, very active, very aggressive. Not letting Frontier get too comfortable at that half court offense. Gratz just committed though his second personal foul. Here in the opening quarter, only about halfway through. 7-5 Frontier with the ball and the two-point lead. Owen Morse had it poked away by Gratz. It'll stay with the Red Hawks. I'll tell you, these, these Smith Academy guards are so quick with the hand checks. Morse inbounds. Alex Sharp has it on the left wing. Down low, all by himself. Kalen Evans, someone fell asleep for Smith, and Kalen got the bucket. She can't be that open on the baseline. That play resumes now, three minutes to play here in the opening quarter. Top of the key is Zygmunt, they go to Gratz for three, left side, good. He likes that shot, boy, he's good from the outside. He has been on a hot streak. When we were down here for the game against East Hampton a couple of weeks ago, he was not hot for most of the game. Kind of erupted late, but he was struggling. Foul line jumper by Carson Carey's an air ball. Ooh. And a foul called against Peter Carey as he tried to corral the rebound, and he fouled Jack Zygmunt. How often do you see that? An air ball followed by a, a basically a ticky-tack foul. And Frontier has a substitution. It's number 21. This must be one. That's going to be Boudreaux, I think. Yeah, I think it's Colin Boudreaux. He changed his No, Yeah, I can see the hair, yeah. He's got it up in the uh, bun today. 9-8 in favor of Frontier. Low pass up ahead ends up going off of our table here. My water over. And uh, we'll go right back to Frontier. Evans, who just hit a moment ago, inbounds it to Alex Sharp. So Colin Boudreau, entering uh, number 21 instead of 20. Karsten Carey, that pass too high to him, believe it or not. It's hard to throw a pass too high for him. Gratz throws over to Carter Woodward on the right side, gets it back to Gratz, top of the key for three, and he misses that one badly. Back quickly comes Kalen Evans into the front court. Line lane, peels back, left wing to Sharp. Sharp to the free throw line, push pass right side to Carey. Peter Carey down to Karsten, turnaround shot is short. Battling for his own rebound and gets it. Nice job there, nice hustle point, but a traveling call on Kalen Evans. Yeah, Frontier does not look sharp tonight, start of this game. They're very, very lucky they're not down. More. And coming out is Peter Carey, and into the Frontier lineup is number 15, Gabe Jones Thompson. Two minutes to play here in the quarter. Frontier leads by one. Left side, three ball put up by Gratz, no good. Karsten Carey clears the board, gets it up to Sharp. Sharp takes it across. They get it to Kalen Evans on the left side. They go top of the key. And just right of the lane, Karsten Carey picks it up, throws back top of the key. Jones Thompson, foul line left. Down to 10 seconds to shoot. Kalen Evans sealed off. They get it to Karsten Carey through a triple team. Dumped it down low to Boudreaux. Hits the shot from the left block and a foul. They made them work for every bit of that shot clock till they finally got it off at the last second. Count it and one for Boudreaux. And substitution now. We've got uh, 
This is Daniel Cavanaugh that just checked in. It is in fact, and looks like for Frontier, number 11, Brett Robinson's going to check in. So Robinson is in, free throw good, 12-8 now. Red Hawks lead by four with a minute 26 left to play here in the first quarter. Cavanaugh inbounds the basketball. Kratz has it deep. Taking it across now is Zygmunt on the right wing. Takes it to the foul line, gets it over to Carter Woodward. Back to Zygmunt. Pull up jumper from 18, rattles in. A lot of knuckle on that shot by Ziggy. Smith Academy sticking around. They trail by two at 12-10. On the right side is Robinson. Passes it down low to Karsten Carey. Pass is picked off, threw it right to Zygmunt. One on four break, they'll get it back. Carter Woodward wide open for three, but missed that one. Tipped out of bounds, it's off Robinson. It'll go back to Smith Academy. That three could have given the Falcons the lead, unable to get it though. And Carter Woodward will end down along the baseline. They're gonna get Peter Carey back in and sitting down is Karsten Carey, who is a little subpar so far tonight. Yeah, he's scuffling a bit. He embedded to Zygmunt, has it beyond the arc, guarded there by Sharp, passes Carter Woodward, fakes the three, coming all the way through, ends up along the baseline, throws it out deep. Holding there is Max Bartlett. Top of the key to Zygmunt, tricky dribble, step back jumper, back rim no good, but the rebound taken down by Moynihan on the right side. That's Kavanaugh for three, got it! Daniel Kavanaugh gives Smith Academy the lead, 13-12. That's their first one. Robinson on the right wing. Boudreaux through the hands of Peter Carey, but coming through, getting the shot up no good was Gabe Jones-Thompson, but he got bumped on the way up. And he'll be shooting two. They call it travel. They, oh, they, they overturned over, it. Overturned it, and that's a traveling call on Frontier. That's what I thought it was initially. It, looked right. like, it sure looked like it. So the officials got the call right. Inbound the ball. Here comes Zygmunt. Little wraparound pass. Carter Woodward splits the D. Lays it up a little bit too strong, though. And he went down hard. And at the buzzer, shot up and no good by Frontier. End of one here at Sherry Webb Gymnasium in Hatfield. And our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Smith Academy 13, Frontier 12. Second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And we are set now for the second quarter. Frontier scuffling just a bit, and they trail by one. Colin Ferrara has it for Smith Academy. Daniel Moynihan, they're working on the right side. It's Zygmunt on the right wing. Shuffle pass back. Moynihan's gonna take a three. That's off the back rim, no good. Carson carry the rebound, and it's stolen right back. Carson with kind of a lazy pass to Evans, picked off by Moynihan. Shuffle pass back to Moynihan in the right corner. Double team there, he's in big trouble. He's got the bigs on him. Finally got the ball back to Zygmunt. Zygmunt, shot clock down to 15. Ferrara from the foul line. Down to 12 to shoot. Bartlett can't do much with it. Back to Zygmunt, looks to get rid of it. Shot clock down to six. Now finally the pass picked up by Peter Carey. Alex Sharp up ahead to Evans, free lane to the bucket, puts it up, no good, but a blocking foul called against Zygmunt. Kalen Evans went 
way up high for that one, and he heart landed hard, and he is on the floor right now. Yeah, he's still down. One of the officials is checking him. Yeah, he's lying flat on his back, and his right leg is out straight. His left leg is bent up. I'm not sure if he got the wind knocked out of him, or now they're helping him to his feet. He's okay, and he'll uh, go to the line to shoot two free throws here. By the way, I want to mention I uh, miss I misidentified Nate Moynihan. I called him Daniel Moynihan, who is a politician. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Daniel Moynihan's here? He doesn't have white hair. <laughs> Nate Moynihan. I, there is a Daniel, Daniel Kavanaugh, who's the next guy on the roster. That's, that's why I made the mistake. Daniel Moynihan. I tell you, I got politics on the brain these uh, last, you should, you should, last 21 days. You should think of other things. <laughs> Make yourself happy. First free throw by Evans is good. Second one, no good. So the game now tied at 13 as Evans makes one or two. Smith Academy with the basketball. Max Bartlett at the foul line. Back in and out hands to Colin Ferraro. Left side pass. Nate Moynihan up fakes. Couldn't pull the trigger. Now Ferraro's going to take a jumper. In and out, no good. Karsten carry the rebound. Outlet on the right. It goes to Owen Morris. Owen. Deep on the right side, picks up the dribble between the circles to Kalen Evans. Back to Morse on the right. He'll go baseline, stops there, passes into the paint. Evans fakes, goes up strong, no good. Tip follow, Karsten Curry now goes up again, no, but a reach and foul called against Smith Academy, and Karsten will go the line for two. Yeah, it's a struggle tonight for Frontier to put points on the board. A uh, couple of Good rebounds there, but normally those are two points automatically, and they have not been tonight. Well, that was the point I was trying to make a moment ago. Even though Frontier's off to a great start, and they're definitely going to be a tournament team, I don't see any local team as being that really just great super team. Now on the boys' side. On the girls' side, Greenfield comes the closest to that. But even they were having a tough time the other night in Orange against Mahar before they uh, were able to defeat them. Second free throw good, so Karsten Curry makes both. 15-13 Frontier, and now they airmail a pass through the Falcons in the backcourt and roll right back to the Red Hawks. I'm not sure what that was about, but... Uh, I can't even hazard a guess, actually. Karsten Curry has it, foul line left. Over the right side to Sharp. Owen Morris has it in the right corner, back to Sharp. Sharp left of the lane. Gets it down low to Karsten Carey. Power move to the bucket, does not get the roll. And they're gonna get Peter Carey over the back of the Smith Academy defender. I'm pretty sure that's two on Peter as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he sat earlier in the first quarter for a moment. They're gonna pull him again. I think you might see Colin Boudreaux. Yep. Well, I'm not gonna get him in though. Not just yet. In the backcourt is Brett Gratz. Throws a pass up, it's tipped away by Karsten Carey. Ends up going out of bounds. It'll stay with the Falcons. Colin Ferraro will throw in just off to our left. Gets it in, top of the key to Brett Gratz. Gonna jump on him, back to Ferraro on the wing. Takes the top of the key, gets a screen. Can't do anything with it though. Gratz has it deep on the right side. He also gets a screen, but they're guarding him very closely, justifiably so. Ferraro, left corner. Back to Gratz, shot clock down to eight. Somebody's gonna make something happen. Moynihan, Ferraro, three to shoot. Finally lets it go, that's an air ball for three. And they attempted a reverse slam, but the shot clock expires. Good job, good defense by Frontier. They did that a couple of times the other night against Athol, and it worked that time. That smothering D. Frontier leads by two. They have the ball. 5.30 to play here in the first half. It's 15-13 Hawks. Top of the key, Morse will open for three. That shot, though, is no good. Swooping in for the rebound is Evans. He backs it. Throws back deep on the left side. Coming through, pull up pop by Morse. Air ball too strong, Gratz gets the rebound. Smith, as usual, looks to run. Gratz, all the way up. He'll take a jumper from the free throw line. That is no good. And the rebound comes to Boudreaux. Outlet pass on the left to Sharp. Sharp takes it into the front court left. Takes it top of the key. Goes between the legs, left side pass to Evans. They jump out on him. Evans looks to pass back top of the key. Morse into the paint, throws up a runner, no good. Blocking foul though called against the Falcons. I like the way that Smith is playing defense. They're really being very aggressive on uh, Frontier and taking away that height advantage. That's going to be a possession foul. Inbounding on the baseline is Alex Sharp. 
Looking, looking, having some time. Gets it in to Carson Carey. Misses from the right side. He got his own rebound and lays it up and in. Yeah, short on the first, got the second. Frontier's biggest lead of the night. Biggest lead for either team, 17-13 in favor of the Hawks. Top of the key, Zygmunt. Fakes the three over on the left side. Moynihan's going to take a trade that is short. Smith has gone ice cold. They came out firing early, but running a tough time. The rebound, though, is off of Boudreaux. It'll stay with the Falcons. <laughs> Substitution for Frontier, Tim Barrington. Checks into the Red Hawk lineup, and Sharp will take a seat on the bench. The third out deep to Zygmunt. Jack Zygmunt, tricky dribbles from the free throw line, right side pass to Gratz. He takes a three over Carson Curry, air ball, that was not close. Rebound comes down, Morris, left of the lane, comes through, blocking, foul oh. called on Smith. I thought Carter Woodward probably had the spot, but they're gonna say no. I thought he did too, and I think Matt Zernary thinks he did. The Frontier caught a break on that one. Yeah, I mean, he seemed like he got both feet down, squared up his shoulders, looked like he was firmly planted, not really moving. If you're moving at all, they're gonna call it a block. And that's what they did, free throw good. And a timeout call by Smith Academy. We'll take the break. 4.19 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Frontier 20, Smith Academy 13 on Bear Country 95.3. Smith Academy basketball. They trail by seven. They need a buck. They uh, they need a bucket. They have not scored here in the second quarter, and now a steal. And Tim Barrington goes for the lay, and no good. Karsten carry the putback, no, but a foul. And Karsten again will go the line for two. Yeah, again, good defense by Frontier, and uh, I think that last couple times down the floor, a couple of bad passes and some good defense. That's three fouls, by the way, on Gratz. Her free throw by Karsten Carey is good. That so, is a problem for Smith. Yeah. That's a huge problem for the Falcons. He has to take us to the bench. He probably will not be back for the rest of this half. Someone's got to step up. Second free throw is no good. But still, a 9-0 run to open the quarter here by the Hawks. They lead by eight now. As they trail by one at the other one. Open was Moynihan for the shot. In and out, no good. Again, they continued it. Miss, most of them haven't even really been all that close. Barrington had his pocket picked by Carter Woodward. Woodward did not have the number, so wisely circles on back. Top of the key, jumper is up. That is no good by Bartlett. Big collision right in front of us. Out of bounds, we got a foul. We'll see who Claude Salomeo got. Well, that was Zygmunt and Kalen Evans who went in hard on that one. It's gonna go against Kalen Evans. So it will be Smith Academy basketball. Woodward will inbound just off to our right. And gets the ball for the official, gets it into Zygmunt. Oh, he wanted to pull the trigger on that three, couldn't do so because Barrington was right on him. Woodward has it. Again, excellent defense so far tonight for Frontier. Left side, three ball put up in the right corner. Left corner, good by Zygmunt. Yep. Ziggy went deep from the elbow on that one. And that gets Smith Academy on the board here in the second quarter. They put up, they they gave the three to the wrong team. They have the wrong score up there. Three-pointer on the right side is good. By Alan Morse. It's 27 to, I, I've lost track of the score. They they messed it up. It should be 24 to, thir to 16. Yeah, it's 24-16 is what the score there should be. They still have 27 Whoa. on. Whoa! Sigmund and Barrington. They are getting tied up on a loose ball, and Zygmunt had his arm around the shoulder and the neck of Tim Barrington. Now they're going to, what do we got here? One, well, one of the coaches for Frontier ended up on the court. That could be a technical. I don't think they're going to call that. Well, I, didn't, I don't know what the, Zygmunt took a, f a fence to Barrington going after the ball. It's, someone's got to get a T here, I would Chris, think. Chris, while they sort this out, so we just had the three by Frontier. Do you have them for 24 or 27? They're fixing it right now. 16. Okay. 24, 24 okay, they just fixed it. <clears throat> now the two officials are going to sort out what just happened. Now the players now will go to their respective benches. But you could just see a loose ball. 
Players got locked up. It's been really not that physical of a game. We've had a couple of offensive, uh, well, we had one offensive charge on Brett Gratz and we had two blocks called against Smith Academy where there was you know, a good deal of uh, physical contact, but it hasn't really been a rough and tumble type of game until just now. Well, Tim Barrington is probably the least likely guy in the court to start yeah. a skirmish. <laughs> exactly, I mean, yeah. He didn't play against Daffler. I think he might have been out with an injury, but he's out there now, and he got hooked up with Jack Zygmunt. And I don't know what the debate's about. There's got to be, I think, a T one way or the other here. Yeah. Ziggy was the one who went for the sort of the horse collar. Grab. Yeah, yeah. I think I, th I think he is going to suffer some sort of penalty here, at least in terms of a personal foul call, I would think. And as I mentioned, I saw uh, it wasn't head co it wasn't the head coach, but there was someone came up off of the frontier bench. It was an assistant, and, I think, for Smith though. Assistant for Smith. Like okay, I thought, I saw it was Frontier out there. Could have been both, actually. Um, and I know your instinct is to go out there, but what, as I take it, the rule is obviously if, if fistic fisticuffs break out, then you know that's a certain situation. But if players are just kind of getting locked up there, the officials are supposed to handle that. Coaches are supposed to stay off the court. Okay, so now they're going to go and talk to each. Coach Ben Barshevsky of Frontier, Matt Zerneri of Smith Academy, and I'm not sure if Sherry Webb, the former AD here, who this gym is named after, will get on the mic and say what it was. Well, okay, we're going to have a technical. Yeah, technical foul for sure. The foul was actually on Barrington that they posted, and then technical foul would have been called on Zygmunt. Morse. Shooting the tees, he misses the first, he'll get another one. And that one is good, that makes it 25 to 16. And they may have hit Zygmunt with two fouls, the technical and then the personal. So they yeah, each got so a foul, yeah. and, and then there's the tee, so Ziggy, Ziggy has three has fouls. has three fouls, Barrington will check out with that one foul. Kale and Evans, uh, that, uh, rather Alex Sharp back in. It'll be Frontier Basketball. They lead by nine, 25 to 16, with 2.55 to play here in the first half. Our halftime report coming up, a long pass left side to Morse. Got it into Boudreau, nice ball movement. Sharp with an open jumper from the right side is good. Yeah, that's exactly what Frontier wants to do. I'm not sure about the cross court stuff, but move the ball. They did a great job of passing. Now the pass gets tipped away. Kalen Evans on the right side. Cross court pass to Morris. Goes left baseline, puts it up and in. That's yeah, coming apart for Smith right now. And Frontier's lead all of a sudden is up to 13 points. Now it's stolen by Morris. Yeah, he Zanari's going to call a timeout. Lays it up and in. And the lead is 15. We'll step aside for the break. 2.21 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Frontier 31, Smith Academy 16. All right, back in Hatfield, it was 24-16 when all hell broke loose there for a moment, and Frontier went on a quick 7-0 run, and now a block down low, Karsten Carey blocks Max Butler that goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Falcons though. But. Let's just call that a low percentage opportunity. <laughs> yeah. That's probably not going to work against the guy at Carson Carey's size. So it will be Smith Academy to throw in in the corner. But they're now down by 15 points. They were down by only eight. A moment ago. On the right side. That's a three point bomb put up by Moynihan. No good. Max Bartlett gets the rebound and a Foul, reach and foul from behind. That's going to get called against Colin Boudreaux. One more and we're in the bonus, so we're not shooting at this point. And they will inbound down the baseline. Colin Ferraro will throw in. Had a little trouble getting in. Quick release shot from the right side. That is no, no good by Gratz, who is back into the lineup, I guess. Zaneri. Justifiably so, thinking I got to go with some guys who can score, even if they have three fouls. Really, nothing to lose at this point. Traveling call against Morse as he got bottled up by Ferraro on the left side. That was well defended. The baseline Ferraro just shut him off, and Morse had no choice but to take the extra step. And we have our halftime report coming up here in just a moment on Bear Country. 
Uh, it's going to go into the backcourt as it went off the leg of Zygmunt. And by the time he picked it up, he was back into the backcourt. So a turnover back to the Hawks. Yeah, they have unraveled Smith has in this, uh, this quarter. They've only scored three points. Minute 30 left here in the half. 31-16. Kalen Evans deep on the left. Couldn't penetrate. Skip pass on the right side to Morse. Fakes the three. Pulls it back. Gets it to Boudreaux. Little hook pass down low to Karsten Carey. Tipped away though by the Falcons. Big battle for it. Karsten gets it back to Boudreaux. Great play. Shot clock at eight. Sharp left side. Three ball. Nope. Good for two. Frontier's lead is 17-33-16. Minute left to play here in the second quarter. Terrible second quarter Ooh. for the Falcons and Bartlett's pass went way low well, it. They're going to say tipped by Frontier. I was wondering why that ball was so far out of bounds. I, I, Did it get tipped? I didn't see anybody tip it. Looks like he just threw it. It looked like he just chucked it out of bounds. But and they're going to say it was tipped. I guess it was right in front of us. I guess they're saying the assumption was that someone from Frontier had to have tipped that one because it was so far out of bounds. But neither Chris nor I saw that. They get it into Zygmunt. Top of the key to Gratz. Into the paint. Turnaround jumper. In and out, no good. So he continues to cool off appreciably. 45 seconds left here in the half. Karsten Carey, foul line right, jump pass to Sharp. He'll take a jumper, that is front rim, no good. Karsten the put back, rims out, no good. Loose ball picked up by Smith. Gratz goes to the floor. They're gonna call it a kick. They'll reset the shot clock for it's off anyway. the Falcons. Yep, 29 seconds left here in the half. Into the Frontier lineup, sneaking in. Jones Thompson back in there now. Running it up is Zygmunt on the right side. Goes behind the back, working on Evans. Shuffle pass to Gratz. And Gratz in a foul called against Frontier, probably against Kalen Evans. Yeah, I think Evans was the closest to him. That's on Kalen, and that's uh, two on him. One and one for Brett Gratz. Moynihan back in for Smith Academy. Rick Rat shooting off to our left for another one and one is good. So he will get one more, makes it 33-17. Falcons actually led this game by one at the end of one. All frontier here in the second. Rats though did make the second. They're gonna get him off the court so as to not risk him committing a fourth foul before halftime. Carter Woodward is back in there. 33-18 frontier. 19 seconds to play here in the half. Sharp will walk it across the timeline. Frontier looks like they're gonna try to save for one here. Sharp has it on the wing, eight seconds. Top of the key, Morse. Away from the ball, that's gonna be a foul on Frontier who got the ticket. It's on Morse. It's either on Morse or it's on Robinson. We are no, both wrong. We are both wrong. It's on Jones Thompson. Jones -Thompson. And now Gratz is going to come back in. That's offense for defense. See if they can get maybe a three from him. Get the deficit down to 12 points by halftime. They get it in, six seconds. Gratz has it right now. Runs it up, top of the key. Two seconds, one, puts up a jumper at the buzzer. It is good for three. That's exactly why he was in the game and what they wanted to do. On balance, a very poor second quarter for Smith, but they finish with a flourish. Two free throws by Brett Gratz and then a tray at the buzzer. Halftime here at Sherry Webb Gymnasium in Hatfield and our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 33, Smith Academy 21, the halftime report next on Bear Country 95.3. Cats coverage of high school sports okay, provided but by take it right through Kobe, Kobe. right through Kobe, please. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. 
Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Duffins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. All right, halftime here at Smith Academy in Hatfield. The Frontier Red Hawks leading the Smith Academy Falcons by a score of 33 to 21. A nice start for the Falcons, Chris. They got out some hot shooting, Gratz in particular, the guy that uh, they've been riding his hot hand in the games that they've won and even that game that they lost against Mohawk. But Frontier's defense really locked them down for most of the rest of that first half. Yeah, they did. And Frontier, I think, came out a little bit flat in that first quarter. And, and I think Smith's defense they defended them beautifully. But when it goes badly, it goes badly fast. And, and as we've seen with Frontier, with the way they play defense, you know, they can, they can turn two or three turnovers into points. And they did that. And that's really what put Smith in the hole. But the outside shooting hasn't been there in the second quarter especially. And they have no semblance of an interior game with the Carey brothers and Colin Boudreaux inside. So if Smith can't find a way to pull the trigger a little more consistently from the outside, it's going to be a tough second half. And for Frontier, I know there's that case, uh, I've seen it a lot over the years, where sometimes, you know, Frontier has the better team, they have the more talented team, they certainly have the taller team, and sometimes you play uh, to the level of your competition for a while. That may have been what was going on in the first quarter, because uh, that was not vintage Frontier Red yeah, Hawk well, basketball. That was what happened with Athol the other night, same exact situation, and we spoke about that. Uh, during that broadcast on Frontier Community Access Television. You, you sometimes, good teams especially, they come in expecting, I think, to do well against certain competition, and they'll sometimes will play down, not to put the kids down, but if you're playing against a, an opponent that's not quite as skilled, sometimes you end up falling into to patterns and traps. Uh, and it was, a, was in the sharpest first half for Karsten Carey, I don't think, although he had seven points. I think Peter Carey got into foul trouble early in that, uh, that second quarter. So he hasn't seen much, uh, many minutes in the second quarter. I mean, Frontier is out in front, and, and they're in control of this game. But if Smith starts getting hot and Frontier keeps making mistakes, it's going to be a very interesting second half. 33-21 to 21 is the score. Frontier scoring 21 points in the second quarter. Smith Academy only eight. So there you go. And it turns out to be a 12-point lead. We'll take a halftime break here. We'll come back. We'll preview tomorrow night's girls game here on Bear Country. This is not on your original schedule, but it is now. We'll talk about it next. Bear Country 95.3. Tom Report continues here on Bear Country 95.3. Chris, uh, as we get ready for the start of the second half here, potentially an historic night at Greenfield High School tomorrow night as Sam Smith of Greenfield High School just 20 points away from 1,000 on her career. Last year we were there at Nichols Gym when Reagan Hickey reached the milestone. Samantha has a shot. That's not going to come easy. That's 20 points that she has to get, but... Uh, I know they're going to do everything they can to try to get her to the milestone tomorrow. Yeah, they'll be feeding the paint a lot tomorrow night. It's going to be a great atmosphere, and you always want to do it in front of the home crowd, which is what they're trying to accomplish tomorrow night. A fantastic uh, milestone for a great kid. Greenfield and Pioneer. We had the Pioneer girls the night before last. It was a rock the house night at Messer Gymnasium, and they won going away against Turner's Falls. We'll see how they fare against the Green Wave. Undefeated in league play, in fact, they've only lost one game this year, and that was a tournament out in the Berkshires where they fell to an Eastern Mass opponent. But other than that, the Green Wave has run the table. They had a little bit of a difficulty in the uh, very beginning of that game against a pretty talented Mahar team before they ultimately defeated the Senators going away. We'll see what happens tomorrow night. We'll have the coverage. Bobby C. and I will be courtside at Nichols Gym. The pregame show will come your way at 6.45 or so. Tip-off set for 7 o'clock. All right, we're set for the start of the second half. Frontier again with that big effort to take the lead by a score of 33 to 21. And the Red Hawks with the basketball to begin the third quarter. Sharp on the right side for three. Nice start to the second half. He knocks down the tray. 36 to 21, Zygmunt in the backcourt. He is double teamed. 
Got it away to Carter Woodward. Gives it on the right side to Bartlett. Up fakes. Comes all the way through. Goes up strong. No good. Karsten Clary clears the board. Coming up quickly is Sharp. They go to Kalen Evans. Deep on the left. Cross court pass to Morris. It was a high pass, but he did pull it down. They try to get it to Peter Carey a little bit to off his hands. And they come back again. And a three-point bomb put up by Gratz. That's in and out no good. Karsten Carey clears the board. Outlet pass on the right to Morse. Morse brings it up. Kalen Evans deep on the left. Peter Carey, right side pass. Wide open three. Sharp nails it again. Yeah, he's feeling it. That's two three balls in a row. He's had a fine night. He's definitely making a case for Helena Chemical Player of the Game. Now tough D by Sharp. And they provoke a turnover. Morse on the right side. Drives the baseline. No good. Put back. Peter Carey, no. Karsten Carey, no. Finally, Bartlett clears the board. Outlet on the left to Gratz. Cross court pass on the right side. Woodward lays it up and in. That's right, so a little bit of passing in by Smith. 39 23. Frontier leads by 16. Kalen Evans, left side to Sharp. They get it to Peter Carey. On the right side, Evans squares up for three. That one's out the front of the rim, no good. Karsten Carey, though, corrals the rebound, but his attempted save pass goes to Carter Woodward. All the way through, puts it up, no, but a blocking foul is going to be called against Frontier's Owen Morris. Owen did a good job to get back there on defense, but did commit the foul, so we got a couple of foul shots here. Carter Woodward. Shooting off to our left, shooting two. Senior guard here at Smith Academy. First free throw is up no good. And Carter will get one more. And they're going to sneak a Moynihan, or check that. Not Moynihan, that's uh, Daniel Kavanaugh. And he'll come in for the Smith Academy Falcons. Second free throw by Woodward. That one is up. That is good. So Carter made one of two. Frontier by 15. 39 to 24. On the right side, Kellen Evans. His pass tipped down by Gratz. Recaptured though by Evans. And a timeout called by Frontier. We will take the break. Six minutes to play here in the third quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 39. Smith Academy 24, Bear Country 95.3. Back in Hatfield, play back on, and Owen Morse with a wide open three, top of the key, and he buried it. That's three threes for Owen in this game. He's making a bid for player of the game as well. Now a steal by Morse. He'll drive through, lays it up and in and there, blowing him out. It's a 20 point lead now, 44 to 24. They're going for the press, they're going for the dagger right now. Nearly a steal. And now they do get the steal as Gratz pass gets picked off by Evans. Evans says, slow down, guys. Man, they, it does not take long for them to shift into that next gear. Morse, deep on the left side, they get it in. Sharp, right side, his jumper. And gets the kind bounce, I tell you, between Sharp and Morse, they're getting it done. Yeah, the backcourt's really killing, the, killing these guys tonight. And we really felt like the big advantage for Smith, uh, for the uh, Red Hawks was in the front court. Gratz, he's going to take a deep jumper, no good. Rebound now picked up by the Falcons. Zygmunt has it. Traveling violation on Jack. And that was good defense by Morris, who made him take the extra step. And sitting down now for the Smith Academy Falcons, Daniel Kavanaugh. Deep on the right side is Evans. In the right corner, they go to Morse. They dump it down low. Peter Carey got stripped of the basketball, got it back. Back to Morse, he'll take a three. No good, put back by Sharp. The dynamic duo. They have been phenomenal here tonight. Not that Carson and Peter Carey haven't had a good night. Now a traveling call again against Zygmunt. Again, that defense really locking down on him. Checking out will be Colin Ferrara. And Kavanaugh, Daniel Kavanaugh back in now for the Falcons. We're down to 425 to play third quarter. And the Red Hawks now lead by 24 points. Peter Carey in the paint. Short arm that one. Just not happening for him. They're going to get him on a foul. 
as he tried to get the rebound. That's going to be three on him. That's over the back. Yeah, Peter has not had a great uh, game, neither has Karsten, but the backcourt's picking up Frontier right now. 4-17 to play here in the third. Red Hawks on cruise control right now, leading big. Passes batted down. Red Hawks get it right back. Carey, right side to Morse. Kalen Evans in the right corner. Back to Morse on the wing. Between the circles. Left side it goes to Sharp. Alex Sharp. Now he'll dump it down low to Karsten. He goes baseline, goes for the banking. Got it. <laughs> that was a beautiful move. It's possible for a kid that size to slither like a snake. He did on that last play. Now a double team, little wraparound pass, it's stolen, two on one break. Morse will come all the way through, lays it up and in. You're gonna wanna get a timeout of this guy out of control. Timeout, Smith Academy, 3.34 to play here in the basketball game. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is now Frontier, 52, Smith Academy, 24. Bear Country, 95.3. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins back here in Hatfield. So you can scuffle for a while, but if you've got the talent, you can find that next gear, and the Red Hawks certainly have. Well, right now, it's, it's all transition baskets. It's, it's, they're playing lockdown defense. Smith's falling right into the trap. It seems like every time they come down the floor and there's a steal, and they're kind of running into points. Nothing real fancy. It's just good defense. They will come out with uh, Barrington. They have made one change. Looks like Karsten Carey is going to get a well-deserved break. The big guy working both ends of the floor. Barrington in. Peter Carey, that going to be a kick. They nearly came up with another steal and another attempted three by Morse. But instead, it'll go back to the Falcons. Yeah, at the end of one, Frontier had only 12 points in the basketball game. They've scored 40 since then, and a long pass airmailed way over everyone's head by Brett Gratz back to the Falcons. I don't think that was uh, uh, Gratz's intention, but boy, did that thing sail. Tim Barrington has it on the right side. Throws a pass over to Kalen Evans. Morse has it in the left corner. Works it right around the top of the key to Barrington. Back to Morse, takes the three. Pull up pop from 16, that is short. Rebound to Brett Gratz, he'll take off on the left side into the front court, stops, rejected on a three, and now the other way, that's gonna be a travel call, wave <laughs> off the jam. Yeah, he was thinking jam before he figured out what his feet were doing, but that way you could see that one coming a mile away. Traveling call against Peter Carey. He got way above the rim and threw it down. That brought the house down, but it didn't count. 52-24. Is the lead. He wants another shot now. Oh, he may get a shot right here. Back to carry off the steal. This one, it will count. Yeah, he wasn't going to miss a second time. And the lead is 30, 54 to 24. Grats, top of the key, traveling, and we're going the other way. And this is going to drive Matt Zerneri nuts because this this team is better than this. The Smith team is much more skilled than they're showing right now, and they're they're just they're getting run out of the building because they just aren't making mistakes. Yeah, we saw what they could do in the first quarter. They led by one at the end of one. They were playing some really fine basketball, but once Frontier decided to show up, it was a totally different story. Kaelin Evans deep on the left. Barrington, top of the key. He'll take a three. No good, rebound. Boudreaux goes up strong with the right arm. No good, tipped Ooh. out of bounds. Ooh, going down hard was Peter Carey. He is okay. And... For the Red Hawks, Brett Robinson is in for Kalen Evans. We're down to 2.09 to play here in the third. Frontier by 30. Carter Woodward. Oh, Cuts it off his foot. He's going to get rid of it. Tipped away by Robinson. Goes out of bounds. That's a foul on Robinson. So Brett, some, you know, good attempt there, but a little over enthusiastic. Yeah. Carter Woodward will inbound right in front of the Frontier bench. 2.01 to play here in the third. Again, after the game, will be Heller, the chemical player of the game. It's probably going to be a backcourt player for Frontier. Now a foul on Burrington as they were double teaming. I mean, Ben Barshevsky is not letting up on the accelerator at all. Well, I don't think he should. I mean, I think that this is, this is the strategy that's worked for them in this half. Woodward. Inbounds on the left sideline, gets it into Zygmunt. Tricky dribbles around the containment. 
Little hook pass over. Woodward got rejected by Peter Carey. Peter has it. He's going to drive all the way through. Puts it up no, but a blocking foul called against the Falcons. And Peter Carey will go to the line for a couple. I was wondering if Carey is going to try and, and dunk over the top of the guy, but he went for the layup instead and drew the foul. Smart play. Well, it was highly predictable what was going to happen after he had his first jam waved off on the travel. He was going to try it again on his first opportunity. It happened about 10 seconds later. First free throw by Peter Carey is good. Zygmunt is out with four fouls, and he is being replaced by Caden Guimond, seeing his first minutes here tonight. Carey hit the first. And Peter hits the second as well. He will check out. And he is being replaced by Gabe Jones-Thompson. Now this is a totally different look for Frontier. They've gone from the big front court down to a three guard offense. Watch this. See if they can uh, beat him that way as well. Get Bratz at the top of the key, trying to warm himself free for a shot. Left corner, three point bomb put up. It is good by Kavanaugh. Perry got three from the left side. 56-27, still a 29-point lead for the Hawks. Down to 120 to play here in the third, Robinson. Top of the key to Barrington, back to Robinson, open three, air ball too strong, Carter Woodward, the rebound. Up ahead on the left is Gratz. He'll stop, he'll pop for three, that one is no good. Rebound comes down, rejected though, nicely done by Jones Thompson. Back come the Hawks the other way, a minute left here in the third. And an entry pass, and we got a, did we get a foul or no? Just a kick. Kick. Yep. So Frontier will get the ball back. Smith Academy gets Owen Baranowski into the lineup. Left side, and the guy who just checked in, Sam Felton Emmerich, hits the shot. Good for three, 59, 27, 32 point lead. Gratz will launch a three, no good. Rebound taken down by Felton Emmerich. Felton Emmerich gets it back. And this is Tim Barrington on the left side. Passes, foul line jumper is up, no good. Battle for the rebound. Comes down to Barrington, yep. goes baseline, but went out of bounds. Yeah, Timmy was trying to get loose to pass it and he just stepped on the baseline, but this is a totally different look for Frontier you now. You got all the all the little guys out there and they can move. 20 seconds left here in the third. Gratz brings it up. Between the circles, right side pass. Baranowski throws over on the right side. Levon had it momentarily going baseline. Gratz misses the runner. And 5.6 seconds left. We have a foul. And that is going to go against Smith Academy. So Frontier will try to go the length of the court in 5.6 seconds, make the bucket. They have somebody wide open. Nobody's paying attention for Smith. They can't find him though. Three seconds left. Robinson at the buzzer. No good, wouldn't have counted anyway as he didn't quite let it loose on time. End of three here in Hatfield. Then on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is now Frontier 59, Smith Academy 27. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Duffins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. All right, fourth quarter is underway, and just like that, Smith Academy is be up at the fourth quarter. A turnover 
right back to Frontier. They held Smith to six points in that third quarter, and they have opened up a 32-point lead. So the Hawks cruising to yet another victory. We have a lot of new guys into the Frontier lineup right now, including Gabe Jones Thompson as of right now on the right side. This is Gabe Gachitsky, puts up a three, no good. Rebound though pulled down by Sam Felton Emmerich. Felton Emmerich has it. Pass the top of the key to Robinson. Robinson top of the key, coming on through. Passes over Gachinski in the right corner. Holding there, this pass tipped away Gachinski. Head it over to Robinson. Down 10 seconds to shoot, Robinson, they work at left side now. Coming through, they only got three seconds left. Four, three point put up by Gachinski. Back rim no good, tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to Smith Academy. Good perimeter defense there by Smith, but I'll tell you, this is, the, this is basically the second team for front tip, but these guys can play, watch. Zygmunt has had a rough night. He had a big three in the first half as he was trying to keep his team close at that time, but really, the technical there, and it went all downhill from there. Gretz, though, knocks down the three from the left corner, makes it 59-30 Frontier. And running it up, Sam Felton Emmerich. Top the key, passes left side to Robinson. Felton Emmerich, back to Robinson on the wing. Left corner to Gabe Gutrinsky. Nice ball movement down low, they work it back. Top of the key, Robinson's gonna take a three, it's good. So the teams have traded threes to open up the fourth quarter here. It's now 62-30 in favor of Frontier. Zygmunt, they work at left side to Brett Gratz. Gratz, bounce pass, top of the key. Zygmunt goes behind the back, shot clock at 15. Zygmunt looks to pass out of a double team. Gets it over on the right side. Nate Moynihan, dips it to drive. That shot is no good. Kuczynski had his pocket pick though by Moynihan. And coming through, shot up and good by Bartlett. And he'll go the line for a shot at a three-point play. You know, the last few years we've been watching this Frontier JV team, and they, they really beat everybody almost last year that they played. These are, these are the guys that were on that team, and you're seeing that they're getting some good, pretty good varsity experience, and they've got some good skill out there, very deep. Yeah, to be able to open up that big of a lead in the third quarter and uh, sit your main guys and just let the uh, rest of the crew take it home, it's not a bad deal. On the right side, Felton Emmerich. They work it on the left side, Gachinski. Merminger down low. Turnaround shot by Robinson, that is no good. Rebound taken down by Bartlett. Bartlett gets it to Carter Woodward, accelerates quickly into the front court, bounce pass back to Grouse. Top of the key, angling now to the right. Bounce pass, Woodward's gonna take the three, that shot is no good. One and done for the Falcons. Up on the right side is Kaczynski. And we got a pass down low. Oh, nice pass down low, but the shot up and no good by Felton Emmerich. Gratz on the right side to Woodward. Back top of the key to Gratz. Brett stops. Can't free himself for a shot. Woodward's going to take a rainbow three. That is off the front rim. No good. 62-33. Frontier continues to lead by 29 points. Felton Emmerich. On the top of the key, Jones Thompson. Down low, Gachinski hits from down low. Gachinski can do something besides shoot threes, apparently. <laughs> hits the bucket there, the lead up to 31. Max Bartlett, three-pointer, you kidding me? Back rim, no good. He said, hey, I'm open, I guess I'll take my shot. Didn't drop for him, though. Felton Emmerich, in the front court left, stops on the wing. Actually keeps the dribble going for now. Is he going to take his man down low? No, nope. bounce pass in the left corner. Jones Thompson back to Robinson for three. Rims out no good. And a couple number 23s get locked up down low. Yeah, Nerminger got hooked up with uh, number 23 for Smith. And the possession arrow goes Smith's way. Well, they've cleared the bench for Smith Academy. You've got... Uh, Number 40, Nick Marcinowski, who just checked in. And they work it down low to Frontier, another bucket. Six, Jones Thompson, that was. 66 to 33 as Jones Thompson hits that one. So they have doubled 
the Falcons score again. Huge victory here tonight for Frontier. We'll wrap it up here in just a moment. Deep on the right side. Guimond's gonna take a three. Short for Caden. Ball is out of bounds. It'll go back to Frontier. So we'll be wrapping things up here shortly in a game that just got away. And then tomorrow night, Pioneer Greenfield girls at Nichols Gym with Sam Smith going for 1,000 points. She needs 20. She's at exactly 980. Deep jumper left side, no good by Gachinski. Battle for the rebound. Nice save by Jones Thompson on that baseline. Gachinski, look at left side to Robinson. Norminger takes the jumper. Got it. He can take that shot. Why not? Everybody is getting it done tonight for the Hawks. 68 to 33. 35 point lead. Again, working some new guys in there. Nick Marcinowski had it. Working into the right corner. Dribbling it out is Kaden Guimon. Marcinowski is going to take a three. That is no good. That would have brought the house down by the Smith crowd who's kind of hung around here. Robinson. Bounce pass on the right side. Felton Emmerich gets it back. Right of the lane, comes through. His runner is good. Great shot on, on the run by Felton Emmerich. And why do I want to call Felton Emmerich Doc for some reason? I, Doc and I don't know. <laughs> got hockey on my mind, not just politics. I got hockey on the mind as well. Down to 222 to play in the basketball game. Warren Baranowski launches the three. Went for the bank. No good. And we have a whistle and a shoving foul called on the Falcons. So now it's kind of schoolyard basketball, but they're having fun out there. They absolutely are. And, and this second team is, you know, not giving up anything. All right, Doc brings it across the timeline. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to nickname him Doc. We'll see if it, I'm sure it won't stick. They get it down low. Ooh, Thompson, Jones Thompson misses, but he got his own rebound, put it up, and he got blocked. And he will go to the line for a couple of free throws here. After the game, one of these uh, young student athletes is going to win the T-shirt, symbolic of the Helena Chemical player of the game. Chris and I will discuss during our last time out. First free throw, no good by Gabe, and Jones Thompson will get one more. The two times we've had Frontier this year, they went to Karsten Carey. Second free throw, no good, but a rebound by Kaczynski. Two minutes exactly to play in the game. Felton Emmerich has it, right side. Robinson goes left base, I hit the side of the backboard. And goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Hawks as they're trying to bounce it off the Frontier player. Well, Ka Kavanaugh tried to bounce it off Robinson and that hit Nick Kavanaugh on the leg, so it's still Frontier ball. Not a lot has gone right for the Falcons over the last three quarters. Again, if you're just joining us, they led by one at the end of one. All Hawks since then. Robinson holds, they were down to 10 seconds of shoot. Not sure if this crew is aware of that. Gachinski has it on the right side. Shot clock at seven. Oh, nice, nice feed by Gachinski to Jones Thompson. Yeah, a little pick and roll action, not bad. Well done. Tell you, this second unit would be representative against most of the Hampshire League. They, they would fare you know, relatively well. They're gonna steal again. Gachinski will hold there. As you come down to the one minute mark, a long Whoa. pass. And oh, a great <laughs> save along the sideline by Robinson. And the shot didn't fall though, but what a great save there by Robinson. There comes Owen Baranowski, loses the handle. And it's Felton Emmerich. Felton Emmerich, bounce pass on the left side to Robinson. Top of the key. Wave it off. Offensive foul away from the ball against Frontier. Yeah, let's we'll see what they get, but it's immaterial at this point. It's 54 seconds left and it's a big lead. Second personal foul called against Norminger. And Smith will slow things up just a bit. Remond brings it up on the right side. Throws on the right side. Gets it back. Throw into the right corner now. And that player got away with a travel, but they wave it off. Moynihan has it deep on the right. Warren Baranowski, eight seconds to shoot. 
And deep three ball put up, no good. Ended up on top of the backboard. So Frontier will get it. 28.4 seconds left. They literally, now since we're under 30 seconds, they can just dribble this out. And it looks like that that's exactly what they'll do. Well, they're gonna just run a weave for now, but I really doubt they're gonna shoot. Yeah, now they just back it out. Doc has the basketball, just kind of dribbling around. 10 seconds left. That is going to wrap things up. Frontier is going to win the basketball game. Final score here in Hatfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 72, Smith Academy 33. Stay tuned. The postgame show next here on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome to the post-game show here on Bear Country 95.3 High School Basketball. The Frontier Red Hawks pick up victory number seven on the year as they blow out Smith Academy here in Hatfield by a final score of 72-33. to 33. Jeff Terrell and Chris Collins, Dave Reno, our studio producer. Uh, I wouldn't say clinic by Frontier because they scuffled at times, but boy, quarters two through four, they were pretty good. Yeah, and the funny thing is, you know, the players you would expect to come up big for Frontier and didn't necessarily come up big tonight, but a couple of the guys that came up real strong with the backcourt of Alex Sharp and Owen Morse, and especially in that second half and defensively, you know, they turned a lot of defense into offense tonight, and that's what a great team is able to do. You adjust when certain players aren't, aren't having great nights, other guys step up and you adjust, and that's the mark of a great team. It's amazing, again, for those of you just joining us, if you joined us in the second half, you know, you look at this blowout score at the end of one, it was Smith Academy 13, Frontier 12. The Falcons were playing some really good basketball. Frontier uh, just really having trouble getting, uh, getting going at all. However, in the second quarter, Frontier outscores the Falcons 21-8. Third quarter was the dagger, 26-6. And even in the fourth quarter, they outscored them 13-6. So when you look at that, they actually, the Falcons only scored 20 points over the last three quarters. Not only is that not going to get it done against Frontier, that's not going to get it done against anyone. Yeah, and Frontier played, played well, but, and Smith, you know, they've got some good athletes on that team, good basketball players, but tonight they just couldn't put a complete game effort together, and, and Frontier did, and that's the difference. All right, Chris, I'll have you run the final numbers, and then we'll reveal the Helena Chemical player of the game. Okay, for the Frontier Red Hawks, leading all scorers was Owen Morse with 19 points, 14 for Alex Sharp, 10 of which came in the second half, 9 for uh, Karsten Carey, and 6 for Peter Carey, 5 for Sam Felton Emmerich, and 4 for Gabe Jones Thompson, 3 for Kalen Evans, three for Colin Boudreaux, three for Brett Robinson, two points each for Zach Nurminger, and, uh, and also uh, Sam Felton Emmerich. Four, the Smith Academy Falcons, 13 points for Brett Gratz, eight for Jack Zygmunt, who played in foul trouble for most of the second half, six for Dan Cavanaugh, uh, three for Max Bartlett, and three for Carter Woodward. Final score again. Frontier 72, Smith Academy 33. Red Hawks now go to 7-1 and one overall. Again, perfect 3-0 and oh in Hampshire League play. Karsten Carey told us a week ago when they uh, ran Greenfield out of their building, he said, yeah, we think we're the top team in the league. It's hard to dispute that at this point. And uh, for the Smith Academy Falcons, back to the drawing board. They are 3-6 and six overall now, and they are 1-2 and two 
in Hampshire League play. Final, and again, our uh, Helena Chemical player of the game, and we mentioned all along it was probably going to be a backcourt person, and in fact it was. It was. It was Owen Morris, and I think uh, you know a case can be made for Alex Sharp, mm -hmm. but Owen Morris, I think, was consistent in both halves, Yes. and I think for that reason he gets the T-shirt. So congratulations to Frontier's Owen Morris, the Helena Chemical player of the game, as Frontier wins it by a final score of 72 to 33. We're back with you again tomorrow night. Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School, 6.45 pregame, 7 o'clock tip-off, Greenfield versus Pioneer in a girls matchup with Greenfield's Samantha Smith, 20 points away from 1,000 points on her high school career. So that'll wrap things up here from, uh, from uh, Hatfield, Shari Webb Gymnasium for Chris Collins and our studio producer Dave Reno and Hannah Gray got us started earlier this evening. I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great night in bear country, everyone.